Good morning, everyone. Well, at least good morning for me. So today's a little bit of a different setup. I hope it's not too echoey in here. Um, I'm actually in my bathroom right now. This is kind of where I get ready to do my skincare routine in the mornings. I feel like in winter time, especially, my skin needs a little bit more extra TLC. And um, I think exfoliation is so important. I mean, year round, but especially winter, because I have sometimes areas of my skin which are a little bit dry and scaly, you know, with like the dead skin cells kind of you know lifting off and so makeup tends to stick to those areas I also feel like in winter my skin looks often a bit more um, dull like my complexion is just a bit more dull so I did a video about this like many many years ago I wanted to go into a little bit more in detail and show you how I do this so one of my favorite things to do is an aspirin exfoliation mask and this is so amazing I started doing this many years ago and I have just sworn by this really cost-effective DIY method and you might be thinking what on earth like my aspirin like why would you put that on your skin this is like a medication that you take if you have a headache or something the active ingredient in aspirin among other things is um, salicylic acid and to those of you who have like acne or blemish prone skin you might know that salicylic acid is often found in skincare products to help treat acne it reduces redness there's just the acid itself helps to reduce redness it also helps to minimize or like unclog pores and this is actually also a natural exfoliant because the salicylic acid helps to break up dead skin cells It makes them softer. So they're easier to remove. So that's how the um, Exfoliation part of it works get an aspirin that's uncoated You don't want to get an aspirin that has like a you know those creamy coatings because you're not actually going to be swallowing it I usually like to use two and this is really really simple. You basically you're just going to dissolve the tablets I'm going to grab like a couple drops of water and you don't need a lot so this, this will be easier. I usually do this when I'm in the shower, so it'll be easier to dosage. But um, what I like to do is just get some of the water and look at this. You can see the aspirin is already like dissolved. Can you see that? It's in this like powdery, gunky kind of consistency. It's basically just the dissolved aspirin. So if you plan to leave the, this mask on your skin for like a while, you know, you can leave this on if you want to treat acne and stuff like that. What you would do is add a, maybe a little bit of yogurt or um, like a tablespoon of honey because that's going to make the consistency a little bit easier to apply to your skin if you plan to leave it on for a while. Dampen your face a bit. And I use this more as an exfoliating treatment. Like I said, I don't really use this for um, like mask, unless I do have some blemishes. And basically, I'm just gonna rub on that aspirin. Can you see? <laughs> this is gonna look a little bit funny. But you basically just take the aspirin from your hand and rub it all over your face. And there will be little chunks that kind of fall off. So again, do this in the shower. <laughs> It'll prevent any messes and spillage. I always do this in the shower, but can't really show you guys under the shower, can I? Now, if you're doing this more as like a treatment mask to reduce redness or to, you know, minimize pores, I mean, this will have some effect on that as well. But of course, the longer you leave it on, the more effective it will be. So, um, you know, if you do plan to do this as a mask, you know, if you added the honey or a little bit of yogurt, you can definitely leave this on. I've done that before, maybe like five or 10 minutes or something like that. But if I don't have the time for that, I use this more as like an exfoliation technique. And you just basically massage this. I don't know if you can hear this sort of rubbing sound that it creates because you can actually like hear the grains working and you just lightly rub it. Like you don't want to scrub too hard. If you have really chapped lips, you can also go over your lips. Just make sure you're not like eating <laughs> aspirin. Your skin will be smooth as a baby's bottom afterwards, trust me. So after a while, you're gonna see all the like bits of grain of the um, aspirin now on my face. Like you can see, really see it here. I just like to rinse that off just with some plain water. So now my skin is feeling really like refreshed in the sense that I feel like all the dead skin cells has just been lifted off my face. But now of course it's time to moisturize and do my actual skin care because you know, it feels a little bit tight and dry. It's not because I've used like a lot of soapy stuff, you know what I mean? But it just feels like, yes, now is the perfect moment to do skincare. So now my skin feels so 
soft and smooth, like perfectly hydrated. I feel like all the dead skin cells are gone. If there is a little bit of redness that you see right now, it's basically just because I've been like massaging my face and the circulation has kind of got the blood more flowing, you know what I mean? But um, after it kind of calms down, I definitely feel like there's less redness because of the aspirin mask. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll show you the final look. I don't know, my skin feels like it's glowing, like, just feels super hydrated and you know like with that whole routine with the aspirin mask before that whole exfoliation works so so great I totally recommend you guys to try that out especially now in the winter so I hope you guys found this video super helpful give it a thumbs up if you did you can also follow me on social media I have been really active on snapchat lately but I'm also on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram so you can go and follow me there and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video bye everyone